Thousands of YouTube travel vlogger, Mary Jane Byarm. For privacy reasons, we have chosen to not include the video. Y'all are going to kill me. My phone cut off mid, mid live. I'm sorry, guys. My phone cut off mid live. I'm gonna stay still. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. It's okay. <laughs> oh wait, I have to add um. um Elena. Dharma. That happened Hi. yesterday. I'm so sorry. Okay, Dharma. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you guys. And I'm so sorry that we have to meet each other under like this. this. It's it's honestly it's really, really sad. Like I so I'm Brazilian by the way. I speak Portuguese. Tudo bem. Oh, wow. Nice. <laughs> Tudo bem. Wow. I love that. I have family in um, Brazil. Um, São Paulo. Wow. Yeah. You have to go visit. It's really, Long really nice. Too. My grandma's Honestly, family. we should all go on a trip. Let's go. Yes, I just said that. Us, we, we and then we can all heal and we bond. We're all going to go on a trip together. Like, F, F Mary Jane. <laughs> yes. And I can host because I, I know Japan like the back of my hand. So wow! <laughs> yes. Oh my God, um, I love Asia, Japan. I just want to say I'm so happy that you're on live. Like I wanted to literally hear your story since like last month, and I know you said you didn't want to spread. I know language. it's because I've been really, really busy. Like today it was just like my day off. I study, I work, and like I don't have the time. So I'm sorry I didn't answer soon. And honestly, just looking like i was just looking at your live and i heard what you guys were saying and honestly so though i was going to pay you guys for the trip to dubai i was literally i had my money out i was going to pay but my story with her was was actually in december that i went so it was christmas and honestly i felt so bad because i left my family here you know, I went there because I wanted to visit. I wanted a trip because I'm always working. I never have time for anything. And she actually was like, oh, you can come and stay with me and blah, blah, blah. And I was like, okay. But, like, I paid for everything. Like, I paid for, like, this thing happened, too. Like, when I was there, I even saw that she was hosting the trips, but there was no one there. I saw that she was texting, um another girl she would say like oh this girl was like saying that um she paid for the trip and like she was talking about people complaining so my thing was because i like i respect like what she does and everything and i didn't want to say anything because you know that's her job and i know that's what she does and i didn't know anyone had problems with her so at first i thought if I say something, I know that she has, like, followers and people are going to come and just, you know, I'll have to constantly defend myself. Like, I didn't know there was, like, other people having problems right. as well. Mm -hmm. Those are my thoughts, too. I mean, this is someone that was inspiring at first, you know? Right. So yeah. It's like, it's you know, the immature, you know, there's kids watching too. They Let think me, that you want her life listen, and all that, after, but not that at all. After that, I was traumatized. Like, I don't believe in no YouTubers at all because I'm like, this is not... Okay, so my problem was like that. So I went, I stayed with her and everything. Uh, and she was saying like crazy, crazy, crazy things. Like, and I, I was just like... First of all, I, I've never seen her pray like one day that I was there. She doesn't have a Bible, okay? <laughs> like, this is all she would say. No, honestly, it was really sad because even like, uh, so when we went to the hotel, she would say that her bank was not working mm -hmm. and that she, her sister was going to help her. And like, I would go out, I would pay for everything. I paid for the hotel. Every time we go out, pay. Like, it was her birthday. I even got her, like, a nice gift. I seen and, it in the like, video. Yep. 
-hmm. yeah and it was for nothing was because she would say horrible things that like well i don't want to say because it's not my right to Please say, say it. it you can say whatever you want you just know, you know, know out the bad because stuff. honestly i i i'm the type of person like it's just that she'll say things that happened to her like in her childhood her own things oh, okay, you, know, you know it's not that. my to say it's like personal stuff but she would say all kinds of things that she been that it's like it doesn't make sense does she like, say colorist things like about black people like elena said honestly and honestly here's the thing i never wanted to say anything because i'm like how am i gonna tell people make a video and tell people that the people that watch her like she said horrible things like i was there and she would say like things about the countries that she's been through like india and stuff like horrible things i'm like how am i gonna my issue was not with just like her was because she was saying so much crap about like other country mm -hmm. other religions because i'm like first of all i was like okay listen if you travel around the world you must be open-minded you need to respect other people's beliefs other right. people's religions no matter what even if you're christian or whatever because like i myself i'm christian my mother married a jewish man mm -hmm. and you know they don't believe in jesus and not for that my stepdad never like try to convince me like otherwise but i'm just but saying you know like, Adria, that requires class you have to be classy <laughs> to be able to do that. no yes. it's like open-minded but it's sad because she honestly, convinced herself that she's superior because of her traveling but Exactly, exactly. Yeah, she, she travels around the world and you believe that she's open-minded because for that even if you have a huge following you need to be respectful of even other people's ideas because you if you have many followers you know if someone thinks different than you you cannot just go and think but honestly i want to say that when i was there she would say horrible hey. things about like racism that did not make sense to me other people's religion i was there i did tour and you uh tours and stuff i learned about dubai and um after like she okay so my so one time like on her birthday day she just got like mad of nowhere and like because honestly when i was there she would tell me to like take pictures of her all the time mm -hmm. and right <laughs> <laughs> and yeah. i'm like i paid to be here i understand i completely understand but she will like make me do like a bunch of things for her. but me and i so i was like okay i was okay now i took so many pictures of her. i was like can you please take a picture of me like so nicely after i did so many things for her and she will be like with such a nasty attitude and i'm like and then at one point like she was we were like in the car and she was saying horrible things about like the gay like community like horrible things what? about like, we were talking, yeah what? we were talking about i think i was because i follow nikita dragon like i love rupaul's drag race all of that mm -hmm. and i was mm -hmm. like oh look at nikita dragon she'll be like she's not even a woman she'll be she should be called like a man like horrible things like that and i'm like no i I was like, I'm sorry, I don't agree with that. I think you shouldn't say things like that. And this is what this was. And then she started like, she was like, oh, you don't agree with me. And then she blocked me, like in the car, like blocked yeah. me, like immature things. And then we went back to the room. She walked in front of me in the room that I was paying for. Mm -hmm. She like threw the key at me, locked me out of the room. And I was like, was your stuff there? yes so what i did was after like so she threw the key at me she locked me out of the room i was waiting in the hall i didn't i was just in shock because i was like dude i left my family during christmas like my mom like she's here hi mom <laughs> she was like <laughs> like my mom sent me like christmas sweaters for me and her to wear it together and everything like that and like she locked me out of the room threw the key at me i was such in shock that i didn't believe that this was happening because I was enduring the days, <laughs> days. I was like, no, this girl is not like that. I'm like, there, there must be something going on. Right. And then I was like, okay. So then after that, she, I, mean, I, was, I just stayed in the hall. Like, I was just waiting. Then she opened the door. I, I went inside. And then, and then I just sit on the bed. And she kept, like, yelling and saying a bunch of things. I was just like, 
okay. And she's like, oh, it's my birthday. You ruining my day, blah, blah, blah. And then she made like an appointment to go to the spa. And then she went to the mall. Um, like, just like slapped the door at me. Like, and I was like, listen, I was even so nice. I don't know why I was so like stupid, but I was just like, I was just trying to talk to her like, listen, I know it's your birthday. Like, we don't have to like argue like everything it's fine like you know i'm here alone da 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 and like she just she was like whatever like she made an appointment to go to the spot the mall she like left and like um closed the door and like i was just like i just was in disbelief that this all was going on right so yeah i was by myself in a muslim country away from my family so what i did was i called my mom and honestly i was so like evenly like scared to stay in the room i took all of my stuff like and then i just went downstairs to the hotel um mm. lobby lobby and like at first like i knew that she wasn't there and i just got like another room for myself but like i made sure like to no one like was to make sure that she didn't see me but i just took all my stuff and like i was really scared mm -hmm. and like honestly i was so scared to even like see her in the lobby or something like that because i hate confrontation right i'm not like and i was just like yeah, she texted what me to leave the this? room. Yeah, that's right, mom. I forgot about that. Wait, so before when... Okay, so when she left to go through the spot, like, to the spot that I told you guys, like, I was like, we don't have to do this. She, she like, before, like, she blocked me, she texted me and was like, you need to leave the room right now. You need to leave. What? Yo, because you're her like, child now. Huh? Because you're her child now. Uh, yeah like around, i like, need to leave the room child. like girl what like i've been paying like for everything here like honestly i felt used used right she used i you. felt terrible i was alone in this muslim country um i wasn't with my family i'm like she's experienced because she travels by herself but i don't right i think she's a hotel junkie because all she does she says she travels a lot because so this is what i realized because i travel yes a lot. And that hotel that we were staying, it was like four hundred dollars a day. Okay, wow. you guys. Let no, me tell you that. The Marriott Mena in Cairo, that's like near the pyramids. So what I realized about Mary Jane was she says that she travels a lot and she does all this stuff. She knew nothing about Egypt, like at all. I know she just <laughs> travels somewhere and stays at a hotel. No, no. Like, like, no, no, no. Hold on. Wants to eat at the hotel like she knew nothing like at all nothing about egypt she just I must add, goes back to so her sorry. hotel that's it i must add something so you guys know that <laughs> in dubai yeah in dubai uh you know like the sheikh is allowed to have four wives right mm -hmm. i've learned so much when i was there and i was like yeah, isn't it so cool that here, like, their religion, like, they're like, have four or whatever. And she's like, no, they're not allowed to do that. <laughs> like, they can only have one wife. And I'm like... Yo. What? Everything, things that she would say about other things, like, I'm like, you travel around the world. How are you that, like, I hate to say ignorant. You don't learn about the country. You don't respect other people's religion because you talk trash about other people's religion and before i was there she had a friend that she went with and she wouldn't stop saying things about this girl and like at one point i was like i was basically a therapist i was like listen you don't have to say things about like someone else you know focus on your life look you're doing so good you have your youtube channel like you don't have to like say those things about like this person you know like just live your life and she got offended like oh my god because honestly i went there because i wanted to travel and experience something right. i'm not the kind of person that stops my life to speak negative of others you know you guys might have a friend like that that is always like wants to say something about someone else who make themselves feel better and i i, I don't like that vibe so if you come at me and you want to say something about someone else i'll be like listen 
I'm here for a vacation. Like, let's just, you know, like. Enjoy yourself. I, I was just like, girl, this is crazy. And she's honestly, not much you guys, of an intellect. She's not an intellect at all. She can't. I can tell like she can't, you know, be social, keep up a conversation, you know, jump from topic to topic. She's just bland. But guys, one thing I want to express to all of you guys, thank God I had the funds, the money to quickly relocate myself out of the situation. Yes. But I'm telling you, think about someone that saves their money and thinks they're going to travel with someone they believe is what they see on YouTube. Right. That's their personality. Thank God. Thank God that I'm so blessed that I had, I could quickly remove myself from the situation. But what if I didn't have the means or the money to like get out or right. whatever? Because she was using me. I was buying food, everything. Like, and That's then. What, um, Dharma, Dharma, Elena said, I'm sorry to call your Instagram name. <laughs> but Elena exactly. had the same exact story. She said that she was on vacation and she was asking her to pay for everything. Yeah. Oh, I had a feeling something was telling me I have to buy my own ticket back home because something was telling me she didn't and it's not going to. So I bought my ticket back home and um, I messaged her and said, hey, I don't know what's going on with you. I haven't heard from you, but I bought my ticket back home. And, I, and then she was like saying stuff like, oh, I'm so sorry. I already told you that I bought your ticket. I'm like, OK, well, if you bought my ticket, like cancel it, refund me or give me the credit back, you know, so I can use it within the year. And she just keeps like putting that conversation off that's yeah. another thing she she has a lot of points so she didn't really pay for anything right but thank god hotel? you could i just huh? don't understand why she's what if you didn't what, what if i didn't and she told me to leave the room throw the key i mean, did a bunch of things that was really unnecessary like but can, honestly, I, can i can i um bring you guys' attention to something though <laughs> i think this is why like she doesn't have to know if you're um, Puerto Rican, Dominican, or Brazilian. She doesn't have to know if you're half Japanese. It's just the my personal theory is that she is indeed colorist. Of course, that has nothing to bring me my money back, but we're talking about someone's integrity. Right. The, the, the reason why she's capable of stealing this money is because she has no integrity. She's using you for hotels, for lunch, lunches. You're saying you are, you see, you're a different kind of person. You come from a different kind of person. Your mom made sweaters for you and her. Come on now. You know what right. I'm saying? You have to have integrity. You have to be a particular kind of person. Some people don't have that. You know what I'm saying? This person is just out of it completely. She's and a different honestly, kind of person. Honestly, I remember she's saying that she doesn't even have a good relationship with, like, her sister because she told me that one time her sister, like, told her to, like, made her homeless or something yeah, i don't know she's just saying too. things that doesn't too. add up like and we don't honestly, know what's true at this point no <laughs> and I, honestly if you have like this huge of a following and there's not one okay so when i went i thought i was the only person but now we have one two three four many you know mm -hmm. you have a problem when it's more mm -hmm. than one person you could be humble enough and be like, yes, guys, I'm wrong. I'm going to listen to what you're saying. Exactly. I'm going to work on it. But no, she blocks everyone and moves on with her life from country to country. Like, no one is going to get her. That's I why I keep telling I'm people. Lucky. Like, I don't know if I'm lucky for her not blocking me yet. Maybe it's because she knows she hasn't given me any money. But, you know, what I'm saying with the uh, colorist thing is, you guys are fair-skinned women and are non-black. And she has an issue, apparently, possibly, with yeah, black possibly. women. Possibly. It's hypothetical. Mm -hmm. it's, a, it's a theory. That's why, Elena, you know, you were wondering if you, why you were chosen. That's possibly what it is. She, this person is cuckoo, you know? <laughs> so... It's, we need a new word to describe what she is. But, um... Elena, I, I, can you tell your story again? Because I see two comments... <laughs> They're asking um, about your story before the phone hung up <laughs> and your experience with um, the scammer. <laughs> I don't understand why, if she's so broke, why she has to stay in, like, five-star hotels. Like, go to a hostel, man. Like, why are you 200 bucks a night at the Marriott? Bro, she... Well, I was begging at the front desk. She originally <laughs> said that we would stay at the, um, the Marriott Mina house. And then the rest, the first red flag was she, um, when she actually 
reserve. She didn't book it. She reserved the hotel. And when I read the email, it said the Sofitu. I'm like, you said that yeah. the um the Marriott Mina house. She chose the cheapest hotel in Egypt from the most beautifulest hotel in Egypt. Thank I'm you. like, what the hell happened that quick? She she said, oh um the hotel was at capacity. So I'm like, all right, I checked myself. The the hotel was not at capacity. I'm like, whatever. I didn't even need to give an S because I wanted to go on this trip. And then she's like, um, she was very unattentive the whole time throughout the whole process. The, the day before you're supposed to leave, she lied to me and said she had COVID. I'm like, are you serious? You have COVID the day before I'm supposed to come there? The next day she posted that she was in Egypt. I'm like, yo, this girl scared me. And then I, I think I seen a picture of you. And I thought you were a tourist, um, Alina. I'm like, all right, maybe she's a tourist. She's trying to act like people on her trip and no one's really there. And then she asked me to be booked for um, April 19th or something like that, saying all oh, the other girls are coming on the 6th or 19th, something like that. I'm like, girl, you're lying. This girl has, oh my her, God. I, her I whole life is a lie. The whole she, entire life is a know, lie. UK police or something like London. Adrian, she lives But there, guys, she this hour, is what I'm saying. <laughs> but she it, literally lives an hour away from me. Her whole entire family. Her whole family is involved. The mother... The brother, the sister. But guys, I don't know about the this father. is what this is what I said. When I was there, if I had to help pay for everything, and like the next when I left, like she was doing like car rides, like for her birthday and stuff. I'm like, where did you get that money? And now when I got back and like I saw everything, I was like, okay, that makes sense because when I was there, she was telling a girl like, it's fine. Like I work for Emirates, that's how I get the flights, and I'm like. <laughs> She's right sitting next to the bed to me, like, what? Lying. <laughs> she said she like, makes sense. I just hope you pay for this because you say you don't have money. And then and then the next day you're getting rides to go in the Lamborghini. I'm like, this doesn't even add up. And now yeah, I know that I it was because this whole time she was taking money from people. And I'm like, I just it's really sad. Like she bought the Louis bag. Were you there with her when she bought that bag? The no, Louis with bag? the Burberry bag. And also, I, I got her like a, because of service, I got her like a bracelet. Yeah, I seen that. But yeah. also when I left, because I have to leave, like I, I, I don't even want to say it, but like one of my things went missing. But I don't even, I'm just <laughs> Girl, like. stole it. it she don't locked you out of the room. Me. That's why I said earlier. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I had <laughs> another bracelet, another Louis Vuitton bracelet, and that went missing. But, like, honestly, at this point, like, I was just, like... I'm but you just, know something? Like, the best thing right now is the fact that Sequoia is, like, the perfect person to lead this case. Um, Everyone needs to come... As many people could come forward and commit to this. We need to make a. I didn't want to say this on live where other people are hearing, but you know what? If if you if you're here, sister, hey, thanks for scamming us. Here's what it is, right? <laughs> so, we make a case together. No, l legit. Um, but we sue. This, we have to sue. What I think is that if she keeps traveling around the world, it's hard for people to keep track of her. That's why if something happened, people need to make a police report. So like when she come to right, right, I don't know the states, they will have a list when she stops by the airport because it's not possible. She's scamming people, but she's traveling around the world, and it's like hard to keep track of it. But so you know, I made a police report in Jersey. Um, I d I did a police report in Jersey, and um, I have a private investigator involved. Then I made one in North, I made one in Philly, and I made one in her town, which is Merchantville, New, New Jersey. That's so made, really good. I feel like everyone needs to make one. Right. You have to make one. Everyone has to make their own um case. Um, I was actually told by my, the um, private investigator that everyone has to report to their hometown and let them know as well. And then um, I'm going to build a case in New Jersey. Being that she's from New Jersey, the court date will, the court date will be in New Jersey. And you guys all will have to come to the court date to um to make the case stronger. Yes. Um. But it's, I mean, if you can't make it, that's, that's if you can't make it it's cool. You can actually um send in like paperwork with your story. But um, <laughs> they 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 want people. They want they literally want everyone there that was involved because they 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 can't even believe what's going on. They think I they thought I was lying. I'm like, no, I'm not lying. This is really happening. Here's the thing, right? What I did myself today, I actually went to the um FBI office here in Miami. 
and um, I got to speak to, to an agent who's also a lawyer. And what she said was, we can skip the whole um, small claim court altogether and put together to make a grand um, case against her, like a right. regular court case. Right. You know, it can even go to a big lawsuit, like class action type thing, um, where we combine the monies that she owes us that becomes a grand total. Right. And then we sue for, for pain and suffering. Right. Locking you in the room, paying for lunches, paying for pyramids, losing sleep, leaving your kids behind, your family, people right. asking you questions, uh, harassing you, all the clothes I have with tags up in there that I, I thought I was going to be, you know, by pyramids taking flicks. Listen, <laughs> all of that is in the case. And we have to be serious about it and just keep in touch. Right and cut off the whole live situation and keep group mm -hmm. chats and really take it seriously. What's crazy is um, I wasn't even going to sue her or anything. I was just like, I, I just want my money back. But the prosecutor and the private investigator was like, they're, they're, really, they're, they're ready to give her, they're ready to put her in jail at the moment. Like, they're like, they're trying to get they paid. They charge her. They can't get paid with you just getting your money back. You have to ask for more so that they can get paid. Right. Yeah. Wow. I'm praying like has she's there been other girls that have came forward that y'all know of yet? Um, someone else. I want to see her me. Mary Jane in prison. <laughs> huh? I want to see Mary Jane in prison or jail. I want to see know? her in person and in prison. <laughs> yes, yes. I pray someone um that DM that DMs me every day. Um, I don't know who they are, but they help me out tremendously. Well, helped us out tremendously through the case, but. They actually know how to find her. Every time, every time she goes somewhere, they find her. They send me the info. Like she left the hotel after I announced it on social media the next day, and they showed me her um itinerary, everything. I'm like, well, who is this person telling you this? But she left that hotel the very next day, like the very next day. I guess everybody on social media was on her ass. Like she's on the run. That's crazy. Yeah, she on the run. That's and really she sad. She did tell me she's never gonna stop because I asked her when are you coming back to say she's like. Mm -hmm. She's like, I don't know, not for a long time. She's like, I'm not going to stop traveling. She's like, I'm not going to stop until I but hit. She quit, though, remember? She quit. I quit. She changed that. Um, yeah. And now she she's doing work. her routines. Yeah, she, she, she changed her. Um, I wonder if she's something. having anxiety about all this. Of course she is. You see the bags under her eyes. I'm sorry to say. And the <laughs> fact that her sister is in a video acting like she's not involved, like you're, you, you just, you just fired to Elena saying, "Don't call the cops." I'm like, no. <laughs> they all know because mm -hmm. when I was there, she would talk to her sister every day on the phone. She knows everything that she does. They know this is like a bigger scheme kind of thing. They all know. But you know what? There's a God. I, I'm just honestly, Absolutely. I'm just so happy that you guys are all here. And, like, honestly, I didn't say anything for so long. Like, people that privately, like, message me, I would speak to them here and there. But, like, never really in details of anything. Because it's, like, it's hard. Like, how am I going to tell people that the people that, and at the time, I thought I was the only one. The people they, the person they watch right, is, like, a terrible person, travels around the world, close-minded. It's right. super close-minded say horrible things about other countries other people's religion it, it would be just me to like say that and like tell people that it's not just that that she say things about like racial things and like even the lgbt community and you are telling to be like a christian like what right you wanna like, know why, Adrian? do you know it's beyond that so it's like i just live in the hands of god because i'm like you know <laughs> That was and look now, I didn't say anything, and all you guys came together. And now that I say, I was like, yes, I'm gonna tell people because I, <laughs> I feel was so happy. That that that's why I'm saying. I like, was so happy I was, I was on that everyone... stance too. Oh, go ahead, Claire. <laughs> Sorry, I was on that stance too with you know leaving it in, in God's hands. But faith without works is dead as well. Remember, we have that's to act true. out our faith. You right. know what I'm saying? And especially if this person is really not what they're saying. Maybe we were the group that was supposed to, like, she must have been doing this for a while, and we're the group that's going to put an end to it. Right. Maybe that's the call. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like. Adrian, I'm really glad you came forward, because once I, once I posted my story, 
They were like, hit up Asia, Asia, hit up. A-. I'm like, who is Asia? And then I hit you up, and then I'm like, she's not gonna be my message. And you read it like four days later. I'm like, yes. And you're like, you're not ready to tell your story. I'm like, this lady is traumatized, and I felt so bad. Honestly, it was like, so scary because I was in Dubai by myself. I left my family during the holidays. It was literally Christmas Day, and she did all these things that I told you guys in the hotel, like threw me out of the room and I was just in shock. I was like, this is not happening. Like I came here because I work I came here because I work really hard. I I study. Like this was my only break and I had to go through that and like leave my family. Like my mom was so nice. I told you guys she made like a Christmas sweater. I got her a gift for her birthday. And Mm -hmm. honestly and it's just because like I was just like I was just like for nothing and like what if i didn't have the money to like go to another room or get out of myself into out of the situation like this is for the people that like go spend their money and believe that she's really that and like you know she's she has issues i'm not just saying i'm saying this respectfully like she has some psychological issues that it's like it's not safe for other people to do this. Like I at all. and you girls like got out of the situation, but what, like, what if you didn't have the means to get yourself out of Egypt? You know what I'm saying? It's like, it's scary. And we are women traveling, you know? Okay. She's like a professional cause she goes everywhere, but we are not. Um, I had a you know, so I'm Atlanta, saying. Atlanta. The oh, yeah. How was it when you when you were booking your trip? Like, did she give you a hard time? Like, when you were sending the payments, did you pay in full? Or? Said, yeah, she booked my trip like the night before. Wait, she booked it the night before you supposed to leave. Mm-hmm. Yep, you're lying. No. Oh my god. Uh, so, Koya, wait, wait, what was what like, happened? The live. Two days before, because I had to get my PCR done. You have to make sure you save the live, okay? Definitely, okay. definitely. I'm going to save it. Oh, my God. Even that, you guys, I forgot to mention. When I was in Dubai by myself, had to find another room and everything, I had to figure it out where I had to go get a PCR to come back home. Like, I'm not a professional, like, you know, I had to figure it out all on my own. And it's so scary because I was, like, me in a Muslim country. And even in the lobby, I had to kept telling like people i wouldn't tell no one that i was alone you know so it was like oh yeah my family's waiting for me in the room like you know i had to figure out all the pcr like things i had to like get a cab go to another like location where they had a hospital everything i had to like looked up on my own and it was like I don't know. It was just so traumatizing. It was so stressful. My mom was really worried for me. Like, look at that. You got somebody else in When in, I got in, my in the test, comments. she said that uh, she booked her flight. Like I was in That's a, what I was going to say. Dirty someone else is in the comments. I didn't, I, did not, I didn't speak to her yet. She said that she booked her flight two nights before. Dude, that's the so MEB. sad. So before I forget, the la- so she when I messaged her that I bought my ticket back home, that's when she was like, I booked a, a walking tour in Cairo. Which I already went there, but I'm like, okay, I just need to see this lady so I can like get my money back, whatever. And then I meet her, and she told me this tour costs three hundred dollars. And I'm like, for a walking for a walking tour, I'm like, it must be really good because, you know, because that's expensive. And then she was like an hour late showing up, but I already met the tour lady, and her name was Bob. <laughs> she was so sweet, and I asked her before Mary Jane showed up. And I'm like, how much is this door? She's so stupid. And she's like, it was $40. $40, yeah. Like $40. Yeah. And yeah. Mary said it was 400 Like, get out of here. Yo, uh, what? Yeah. And, um, and to answer her, like, uh, her information, too. She did the same to me when I went to Dubai. She said the desert thing was like $400. And I'm like, I looked up after everything happened. I looked up to see how much it was. And it wasn't that. It was like. Forty-eight, fifty dollars. Yo, and Adrian, what you I can't doing? believe this Airbnb. is happening. Like she booked it through Airbnb under like local activities, and a lot of I'm stuff is pretty this. affordable. I can't believe this. Like what Adrian? I feel like she says about... that stuff so we don't have to owe her anything back. Yeah, that's what I think she says. It costs that much so we don't have to owe her back anything. You know, right? What What Adrian was saying about the um. 
like why she why like you didn't want people to come to you you know if you posted something or said anything you didn't want them to come and say oh you must be lying like her supporters let me tell you i don't know if you saw my youtube video but a lot of people are literally coming in there saying oh you girls must be stupid paying someone online for this and that and then some of the comments were saying you're just hating on a pretty girl that da 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 a lot of them were talking about her looks and it's pretty privileged they literally worship her mm -hmm. because she travels they think that she's some kind of god okay and i answered those people. I was Brainwash. like, listen if you worship someone for their looks that's a personal problem and you're gonna have to get that checked out <laughs> but that don't have nothing to do with me you know what i'm saying i wanted to be by some pyramids i wanted to make some connections meet people and god is good i'm still meeting you guys anyway you know what I'm saying? I love that for us. We need to all take a trip and just relax and be like, yes. <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes, yes. Forget about this. And honestly, I mean, I shouldn't, I mean, it's sad. People should know there's something wrong because usually big companies that do um, traveling and stuff, they're usually very organized. They send you trips within like days, weeks in advance. Like, she always makes excuses. So Everything is organized, but come on, you guys, for her to say, like, no, this was, like, what got me. I was like, no, this is something wrong. This was, when she said that she worked for Emirates, I lost it. I was like, what? <laughs> Where? <laughs> like, girl, what? <laughs> What's going on? Yeah, like, what kind of drugs are you on? And, like, I just want to say, you guys, not just that, but saying, like, horrible things, like, about, you know... It was, and like one thing about her, like you guys should know, because like she will block people that think differently than her. Like if she thinks the sky is black and you say the sky is blue, she'll be like, no, block you, and that's it. Like <laughs> what kind of person? If you're a big, if you're a big person that has followers, how are you gonna evolve in life if you think that you're always right and your way is the only way? Like. It's you like need to even be humble to accept what other people say to like grow as a person you know like what i can't i can't i, can't, I just, just I, I don't have no i'm supposed to word like i just can't this has been going on for two weeks two weeks or three i don't even know anymore and do you guys know how whole like i've been holding this since december i've never I openly know. spoke about oh anything gosh. I and I just felt so March. encouraged that I saw you guys. So thank you for coming up. And maybe we can help other people. But honestly, you guys, if you guys didn't come up, I wouldn't say anything because I'm like, what am I going to, why am I going to fight with this girl that has like followers? And like, even like, oh my, I have one of my pictures in Dubai, like someone, like a troll comment, like saying something like, oh, but you're light skin, but you're fair skin. Like you guys are defending a white girl. I'm like, why are you making this about race? It's not about that. It's about like, uh, found like, <laughs> yeah, it's about like this whole scam and like That's principles. Right. It's about principles. It's not even about that, but that is no, part of it too. Girl. I get it's about it. The principles. Yeah, she even asked me what my religion is too, and I told her. I told her I was Buddhist, and she asked me like, like a little bit more information on that, and she kind of like rolled her eyes, like, okay, it's stupid, like. And then she was explained to me like how much she loves Jesus. <laughs> it's like that's. <laughs> did you see her Bible anywhere? Cause I didn't. I, I didn't did see her see pray no one day. One day, she Never says that all religions are wrong if you're not Christian. <laughs> she really doesn't know information about any of their countries that she goes to. I'm sorry to say, but she's the big I word, and I hate to say it. It's ignorance. Like she's ignorant. She doesn't know <laughs> things. It's Even the true. tour guy, uh, tour lady, said the same thing that she was ignorant because she, she was like arguing with me about the Chinese and Japanese language thing in front of her. I can't even Girl. imagine. That's embarrassing. No, that's embarrassing. Girl, we were in Dubai. She said that they that I was wrong. That the the sheikh was not allowed to have four wives. He was only allowed to have one. I'm like, girl, how long you've been here? I just got here and I know this information. Like. What what world do you live? What dimension? We gotta she's, remember. Well, not even really. really like, she's she's only twenty five. Stays in a hotel, camps <laughs> people, yeah. and eats eats at the hotel. And she'll travel, but she'll seriously like be there for three four hours just to take pictures and go back. 
<laughs> she would take she knew nothing she about would it. make me take pictures of her and videos of her everywhere and she wouldn't take one picture of me if i ask her kindly to take one picture of me like she would be like mad and then like have an attitude and that, <laughs> honestly i was just holding in because i was like listen i'm here i'm alone in this country i'm just gonna suck it up and like uh don't and then it was That's just hate. like it came to a point that i couldn't anymore i was just like you know what okay she, she left to go to the spa. I quickly found another thing to quickly, like, move myself. I was so scared that she would come back to the room. I just wanted out. And it was really sad. Like, I was alone. Like, I cried because it was, like, Christmas Day. And I was like, how am I going to? I didn't even tell my mom on Christmas because I didn't want her to worry about me. Yeah. So I just, like, it was really sad. Like, I just stayed there on my own. I cried. And I was just like. I can't believe this is happening. It was terrible. Like, I'm still, like, traumatized. I'm like, I can't believe this happened. I can't even believe after that. Now it makes sense that all the things she was doing was because she was scamming people. But, right. like, she didn't even have money when I was there because she couldn't get to her room because they shut her bank account or whatever. And when you said that, <laughs> Alina, am I saying correctly? I'm sorry if I'm mispronouncing. No, no, no. Did it right, yeah. When you said that, this happened thing to I me did. too. And I was like, it's okay. Like, I helped her pay and everything. And I was like... Yeah, but you cry and then you went to Chanel and buy a bunch of things shopping. Yes, yeah, mother. Right. Yes, mother. Stop. <laughs> Don't say that. Retail therapy, mommy. It was my emotions. <laughs> <laughs> she's crying the Chanel and now it's like death <laughs> and now I mean dead big dead oh, I no. bought with my emotions I, tell I was her, down I tell her but she looks That's so shaky suffering. and she goes Chanel she understands Chanel say hey shake looking for the shake you know, she, <laughs> she's fine the Chanel I say oh my god there's no Chanel I say shake girl shake looking for some shake she want me to come back with the whole husband. <laughs> I'm like, I'm traumatized. Nice to shake. She understands Chanel. Okay. Oh That's my enough. god. But, oh my god. I this is bad. It was crazy. Right. Just try to uh, break the ice a little bit, to girls. Oh is there any way we can contact the London police over there, you think? Oh, I did already. I called. First of all, let me tell you guys. That oh, you did. bill was $157. And Mary Jane will be paying for that. That Ooh. won't go forward. But I did call the police when I found out what hotel she was in. I called the hotel and they transferred me to um, the UK police. They were really nice. They were very nice about everything. They were shocked that that was going on. Um, they told me that they can't do anything about it because um, I have to do a report in, 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 my, in my town first. And which I did, and then they told me that like they, they can't really lock her up and do anything until everything's done in our state, in her state. Well, I mean, I get it, but it's like this girl is traveling the world. By the That's time y'all done with it, she's going to be in freaking I don't even know. <laughs> well, I know she told me Japan is her number one favorite country, so right. I'm about to call up my country and be like, please don't let this girl in. Yes, and your I country. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I don't want cuckoos in my country. I'm sorry. Like, you don't need <laughs> oh, my oh my god, god. that's Girl. so funny yeah, I don't know what she is. My, my uncle works for um Anna, A-N-A uh -huh. um, on Nippon Airlines, so I'm gonna like, let him know too she's messing with the wrong girl <laughs> girl I'm gonna let her she, take her out of Japan for good she Marsh claims she's not, um, she's not traveling solo anymore she's gonna be with her family, her boo-boo and her security guard who is her boo? we don't even know what, Maybe is, what did that know. happen? I, have I honestly, after Dubai, I swear to you guys, I've never even looked at her account. Nothing. I don't know nothing about her. Like, I don't want just she doesn't have nothing. A boo -boo. She's lying. Remember, she said she never had sex before. She's a virgin. And then she was pregnant. Like, come on. She would tell me this all the time. And then I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Because there's so many lies. Like, I think she believes her own lies and it's hard to keep up. Oh, yeah. You say you're a Christian, but you're a terrible person. Like, you're horrible. You just say crazy things about others and other people's religion, whatever. Then you said that you're a virgin, but 
you talk to a bunch of people. Like, I'm just like, how? Someone said he's a soccer player. Let me go. No, and she would player. be like, oh, no, when I was there, she'll be like, oh, like, Drake messaged me, this person messaged me, and I'm like, is that like, and I'll be like, yeah, that's really cool. Like, that's cool. And I'm like, but I'm like, can we talk about like <laughs> things that matter? Like I, I'm here to learn about the culture and like you know. Semi V said she kept talking about him on the trip. About who? She's she's claiming oh, to have gone on a trip as well with MJ. The boyfriend, the boo boo. Trip two nights before they were supposed to leave. I don't know, guys. It's just ridiculous. All I know I'm is that wake the up boyfriend is from the Netherlands. Girl so she told me. That was Jan. When I was there. She said huh? her boyfriend from Netherlands. That's what she told me. Mm. When I was there, she told me that that, like, I'm sorry, it's just so many <laughs> misinformation. It's like, it's like she has different personalities or something. When I was there, she told me that she had, like, a boyfriend it, for the longest time, friend. and then she knew another boy there in Dubai, and then there was someone else. And I'm like, okay, like, y'all funny and kind of drink. Did you say anything <laughs> substantial to you guys on this trip? Like, huh? Did she say anything that was actually entertaining or like? Yeah, did you guys like? I don't. Oh like, God! What are you thinking like, um, I don't really think. <laughs> Elena, can you hear us? Well, she didn't really talk much about herself, oh, and every time. Narcissist. I don't know. I just she would she... only talk about herself. Yeah. Yeah. Um, she says she makes money through Teamy and YouTube, and so yep. a sponsorship that she didn't mention. She does videos for Teamy all the time. Um, I was told that we need to report to them that that this is her new voc vocation now. Yeah, and but I the saw... thing is, sorry. Oh no, I saw that she made another video about Teamy. Like four is five. that the tea? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I okay. never seen her drink that tea when I was there. Not once. <laughs> Not once. I didn't. But she would drink all their teas, but that tea, no. <laughs> oh so, my god! She probably didn't have enough money. I remember one time she woke up late because they were message her saying like, "Oh, you haven't posted us, whatever." And then she took like made her tea and was recording. And I'm like, "Is that really good?" Because like. <laughs> If it's really good, like, tell me, like, I want to try. And she's like, I don't even drink that. <laughs> Damn, Timmy, y'all see this? Save the lives! Don't come for me. <laughs> I'm saving oh lives. <laughs> <laughs> and that was just like, okay. She, saw, she, she, she straight up said, I don't even drink this. <sighs> Father God. Does she make a lot of money doing that? Is it, like, a good amount of cash or what? Honestly, I'm just starting to, I don't know, she never said anything, but now I'm starting to think that all the money of everything that she was doing was because she was scamming people. I mean, she now it made sense. She made the full 60000 though. She told, she told me she, she makes sixty k in a month, and that's for YouTube alone, which means she makes more than sixty k. I don't Allegedly. believe that at all. More than sixty k. You living out of motels, so I don't know. She did tell me, okay, when we were at H&M, she wanted to buy, like, a shirt because she was too revealing, and, um, quiet, and then she, um, she told me to hold her phone, and I saw that her phone said $81.90. <laughs> Yo, I ain't getting like, my money really back. Broke. I'm, I'm really over broke. it. I, girl, I'm gonna sue you. Keep the 14 15 so you can fuck. You know what? I'm not I getting my saying, money back. How come she's staying at a two hundred dollar a night hotel? I am never getting my money back. She sent me a hundred dollars today. She's saying her today. She sent me a hundred dollars today. She sent me two hundred like last Sunday, and then she sent me I think another two hundred last the week before that. It's just it's just uh, I think she's playing with me because today she emailed me and she um oh Adrian hung up. She must have gotten a call or something. Oh. Um, yeah, she sent me two hundred dollars the first time and then two hundred second and then she sent me a hundred dollars today. And I'm I like, think girl. She blocked me on her phone because I texted her today and it didn't look like it went through. She blocked me too. No, she changed the number, supposedly. And she you she know was what? robbed by someone that was on a bike. Um... Elena. She was okay. robbed by someone that was on a uh, on a bike, but in what? her video, 
the phone was point zero miles away. Did you see it? Whatever. <laughs> Did you what? see the video though? Did you see the video? Please tell me. Yeah, I saw the video. Girl, my my followers are so freaking dope. They compared the the video and circled the damn zero miles away. I'm like, I would have never seen that. Me neither. The, the the phone is in your room, girl. Like, oh my god. Like, the the phone is in her room inside the hotel. But he was on a bike and he he rode away. Well, if it really did, karma. Now she knows what it's like when your shit gets stolen. Oh, the <laughs> oh. irony of that video is is the irony of that video for me. I cannot. It was the sister going along with me. Yeah, the sister right along with it, acting like she's not a part of it. Girl, you took money too. You and your brother took money from a lot of girls, so. Y'all going down too. If y'all watch, she's in big trouble. That's all I know. She's in big trouble. Oh yeah, I feel so bad. I'm just like I don't know how this is gonna play out. Off Instagram and YouTube, you think? Huh? Why is it so hard for her to get kicked off Instagram and YouTube? You think? I I, I, I mean, more people need to come forward. Everyone that's on this live, can you please try to email like Instagram, YouTube? I've done so much. Yes, please. All I do is email and touch my ask my friends. I do not put my phone down now. Well, I didn't before, but it's worse now. I email them all day long. Um, it's kind of, it's gonna be hard to get to YouTube because I read it on Google. You have to contact them, contact them through uh, Instagram and DM them. I've been doing that all day. Instagram, I, I did that all day. Um, Shade Room, they've been viewing my posts, liking it. I spoke to somebody from them. They said that they're gonna I guess go through it. Like everyone else is gonna go through it. Um. Uh. Who else did I contact? I don't know. There were a lot of blogs that said they were, they were gonna they, they were gonna cover the story, but I feel like everyone thinks we're playing. I guess, but once it really blows up, they're gonna be like, "Oh, let me share this." No, don't try to share the story now because we really need help. Like this is crazy. Yep. Oh, she said um her phone died. Hold on, let me try to um. Yeah, she she she. I, I just know she's going to jail whenever they catch her. She's gonna she's gonna get her passport revoked like really soon. That's what I was told from the from the, the people because by the time I don't even know. I don't even want it much anymore. Oh my gosh. My phone died. Sorry. Who's that? Ah. Troy's TV is working on it. I didn't want to expose that yet, but he's working on it. He's just trying to um see if everything's good and he has over half a million subscribers. Right. Guys, I just want to just say that, I mean, at least we're all good. Everyone is fine. You know, even if we lost money, we can, like, mm -hmm. like right, get it exactly. back and find a way. And, you know, my I don't have, honestly, at the end of the day, there is no problem. If she's humble to recognize what she did wrong and apologize and everything, you know, that's fine. Because everyone can change, you know. We can all change and we can all move past this if she... Right you know recognize like i said that she's wrong and apologize to everyone i feel like you know that's understandable but like you know at least we all fine and after this we can all go on a trip period definitely <laughs> i'm going I where would we go birthday, so i was looking forward to that i didn't do anything for my birthday last year or this year so that was for my birthday i went all out for it everything i done booked a photographer over there in egypt I bought excursions. I just, I did so much to even to to, to even get scared. I don't even know. I got. I can't believe it. I just can't. But and like like you said, we're all good. We're well. We're all of us are good. One one girl really isn't. She didn't come forward yet. I'm waiting for her to come forward too. But we're all still here. We're alive. We always make money. And like you said, we can also travel. Still get a chance to travel. Together. We're healthy, we're good. Right. And you know, if she's humble and she wants to come up and apologize, like that's fine. You know, everyone has the opportunity to change. I don't know, but what matters is that we're all good and like we're all talking about it and like everyone can like start, you know, <laughs> picking up. And that's what you know, what matters. About her, she keeps this up. Huh? <laughs> They're gonna make a documentary about this if she keeps this Girl, up. Girl, <laughs> the first Netflix. Um, oh Netflix. <laughs> when I went to the police station, he the cop said that he said this needs to be a documentary series. I said no, seriously, <laughs> it needs to be because it's gonna be like eight parts of it. This is why I made the hashtag surviving 
Mary Jane. <laughs> I saw that. I was like, oh my god. Because it, it is a survival. Honestly, we're all survivors. I'm right, survivor. we're survivors. We survived it because it's like. <laughs> Does she know about <laughs> your? Come on, dress, Destiny Korea. Child. Adria, you survived your <laughs> Come trip. Through. You survived your trip. And we're still surviving because we want our money back. <laughs> yep. Right. Does she know about this Instagram-y thing, Sequoia? I think she does because today she emailed me. I, e- I emailed her this morning and I was like, um, hey, do you plan on sending me more money back today? Because you said you would send me money daily. She sent me an emoji saying, um, she sent me an emoji saying, um, hey, gonna get to you soon. I'm sending a lot of money out. That was it. So I'm like, now, now she knows. She knows what's going on. She knows what's going on. What I saw that she did was with another girl um, that she made a YouTube video after her name is like flora and she sent her message like oh i'm gonna uh send my lawyer because you're saying things about me like trying, yep. you know trying that. to intimidate her just so she will stop exactly. and not speak up that's yep. what she tries to do she would try to intimidate you saying that she has a lawyer now and like i'm like girl like this is why yeah, can't you just give people's money back like well, okay, it's really simple me. Laura, until you cool. subpoena she's me. She's intimidating people now. That's not cool. Like you Until know, like... you subpoena me, you're just talking. Okay? She's going to have to subpoena me at my address right here. Right. For me, to, for me to be shaken because you still have my money. My money is in your hands. Therefore, God will forgive you. Yes. However, you will pay the consequences. I will forgive. I will not forget you because I don't want to be caught dead in the same hotel room as you. Oh it's called God. wisdom. But yes, Flora actually called me when she emailed her that. Flora was devastated. She was crying. She That's was so sad. Please wake up. Please wake up. And I, I, and I, call, I woke up and I, and I um, called her back and she's like, she's trying to sue me. I don't have any money. She wanted to give me my money back. Um, my parents are yeah. mad at me. She was Flora's so living sick. her best life right at this moment because she just graduated and she's right. celebrating. I'm so happy for her. Right. Congrats. Yeah, she graduated. I, I, uh, That's amazing. Love that for her. But she tried to scare her by saying that. I'm like, she's not going to sue you. Exactly. Like, yeah. She's trying to... And think... Okay, now think about... That's one that we know, but think about all the other people that she's possibly intimidating like that, and people are not speaking up. We don't know. Have you been saving the lives, Sequoia? I'm, I'm going to save this one. Yep, I'm going to save it. Did you save the previous one? No, we didn't do anything. This this is the whole entire uh we started over, remember? <laughs> oh, Adria was the one that went off. Okay, yeah, okay, gotcha. Yeah, yeah, She came back on. Okay, okay. But um we'll I'm be all right. you guys go because I God think they're late. And Elena, you have your kids. I know you're trying to put them to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. I really wanted to come on and I'm sure oh, I'm glad you guys came on because I didn't time. think you guys were into things. <laughs> <So>. <laughs> I don't know. I oh, think she uh, chose me to go to a trip because when I, we did like the FaceTime thing, you know, because I made sure I wasn't, I was like, make sure it was like the real MJ and not anyone fake. So she called me through Instagram and I told her, you know, like my husband's in the service and stuff. So I don't know if that had anything to do with it because maybe she was like afraid. I don't know. I could be wrong, sure, but yeah. maybe like, I just know maybe she thought like, oh, because my husband's in the service. So last minute, like literally last minute, I like, like rush to get my test done for traveling and she it was cutting it close too yeah. and out of all days sunday i had to fly out and it's like nothing's open on sunday so i waited for the email and i seriously like went at the airport finally i got my email and like had like half an hour to spare to get to my airplane so oh my god <laughs> so it's like she tried to had a feeling she had a weird feeling at that time but i got on the plane and i got there so it all worked out but still like right she she just needs to come go back to come back to the states live with her mom and just or somebody and just work get a real job and pay everybody back right because this is not it this is not the way to live and she needs to get off youtube <laughs> I'm that is not. Many followers don't people like, oh, you're living your best life. No, she's living her best life because she's scamming people. Right. Somebody exactly. said she got a two thousand dollar bag with eighty dollars in her account. Right. <laughs> I was laughing at that comment too. Wait, imagine exactly. Oh no, Gucci on lights off. <laughs> well, maybe she like 
is following like for example maybe like when we booked the trip or something maybe she looked up like adria's like accounts like oh she's got she's she's probably wealthy or something right, you know right Nate, she came for you girl she came for you adria i think so like i hate to say it, but that's what i'm saying like you guys like i just felt used like you were used you were so used that's why I didn't even want to speak up or say anything I was just so tired of it like I just wanted to be over and like I didn't know it was like a bigger thing going on and after when I came home and I realized that and then now everything makes sense like where she gets the money I'm like okay that's really sad that's like bad karma like how can you do things knowing that you're taking things from people like that's that's not good how is that Christian like? Exactly. How is that, you know, like, you're portraying to be this person that you're not. And even on the videos and everything, like, she just show parts of it. She never educates people when she travels around the world. Like, I never really learned anything from her videos. She won't, like, it's just, like, she's showing scenery. Right. It and, just like, seems so, like, cool and dope. It's like, I, and, I like, me and seen... Elena, we know how she is because we... we had the pleasure to spend that time with her and we know that she she's not really familiar with cultures and things so i'm just like mm -hmm. it doesn't make sense oh so adria what do you think do you think she photoshops her body oh my I, honestly i didn't want to get to this topic i didn't want to ask because i didn't want to be like you know what do you think helena you saw her a real person what do you think that she looks like was she portrays to be on IG? She Let is. A, she is thick, waist below. Like her thighs are thick. She's got a big butt for sure. But I think she photoshops her um, boobs and her chin. Yes, I'm sorry. I'm glad y'all. Oh, and her stomach. Before, and her stomach. Before you guys got. On Not the that wild. she needs to photoshop her stomach, but <laughs> like that. <laughs> Her stomach, <laughs> yo, she's not, that, that's what I'm trying, I don't understand. She's not a bad looking person. Like, why do you hate yourself so much? Like, she makes her face mad small, her head mad little. She makes her titties her big. She makes her waist small and her butt way bigger. I'm like, what is wrong with this girl? She basically makes herself look like she had a BBL. She's a beautiful girl, but. Right. She's a beautiful girl. Like, she's, she's beautiful, but. She's not a lot of stuff that no, no, she just used Photoshop, like she's, she's just over beautiful, but she's beautiful, you know. She's beautiful, like, um, you know. I told her, like, I was like, listen, you have so much going for yourself, you have your YouTube thing, like, you know, you should spend time like on that and not on negativity, like, you're doing everything right, but I, I didn't know, and like. I didn't, and then, like, I didn't know that she was this whole different person and everything, and honestly, you guys, like I said, I still believe that everyone has a chance, you know, if she's humble enough that she wants to learn from this experience and, like, give people's money back and, sh and say, like, listen, I'm sorry, you guys, like, you know, realize She's what had she numerous did. Times to do that. I have no problem, you know, like... She had I mad just time she... to do that. I'm not saying she's, she's she doesn't have time to, but it's like you still have the opportunity to say sorry, to come out and make a video, but you're just not acknowledging the fact that you did this. Like, exactly. Like, she's playing with us. And it's because of that. Like, it's because right. you've got she's making the worst for herself. To the scam. If, Adria, if she was communicating with us, I'm not hard to please. And Me I have either. the patience of a saint, so I've been told. Okay? If she was simply saying this is the day I'm going to pay you. Okay, right here. On Monday, this day, at this time. Okay, then I know I have a time. And exactly. A but I'm texting you repeatedly at odd hours of the night. I'm losing sleep trying to contact you. And then you're not saying anything. You're going radio silent? What do you want me to think? For weeks. What do you want me to think? Honestly, no one needs to go through And I'm so sorry that you went through that. Like, this is what I'm saying. And it's not just that. Like, at least we are, like, blessed. We can move on from the situation. And like I said, like, we're healthy. We can do more. But it's the principles. It's not just that. It's the fact that, let's say, she was intimidating Flora, saying that she was going to get a lawyer. And, like, on the on the video, Flora doesn't even say nothing bad about her. She's Nobody just talking said, about her experience. She even says that she's nice and blah, blah, blah. I'm like, wow, she Flora is really nice. 
she was saying even nice things about her. She said nothing really negative, just that she didn't get her money. And I'm like, and then you're going to go and intimidate the girl and say that you're going to get a lawyer and like sue her. I'm like, this is ridiculous. This is what we know, you guys. There's so many other cases that we don't know. Exactly. You know? That's, what I'm saying. That's, That's why we have to like talk about it. Because it's like. Oh, I'm not letting up. I'm not letting up. So I don't know about everybody else. But no, we're not letting up. Letting up. But um, what was I going to say? I forget what I was about to say, but. She was very unattentive the whole time. And my patience is really low, but I gave her so much patience. I had so much patience for this girl. I don't know how, why, if it was God, so be it. But I had so much patience. Like, I let weeks go by without asking her, where's my flight and info? For three weeks. And I done paid in full. And she's never said nothing. Three weeks? Three weeks. I never said nothing. I'm like, you know what? She's a young girl doing her, her thing. She has her own business. She's by herself. She says she has a whole bunch of girls with her. I'm like, let me let her, I'm gonna let her breathe. Still nothing. I emailed her two days before the day. She didn't respond. The day before, she said she had COVID. Lied. I'm like, this is exactly why you can't let go. Let up. You give them, you give them an inch, start skating. <laughs> she's gonna them, keep let fly. something. She's gonna keep doing this to other people. In my comments on my YouTube video, people were saying, "Thank you so much for saying something." I was about to book. Right. That's what people. Say. I was. Go I was planning on going on a trip with her if she ever hosted. I've seen comments like that. Like she has so, so much. Like this girl that motivated so many people. Like I can't even. I can't even imagine like how many people she's letting down at this moment. She's letting down so many people, and I feel bad. She let me down. I'm just like, wow, MJ. Really? I followed you for years, and I never seen a sign. I never seen a sign of you being so evil. I think she let all of us down because honestly, I would never believe that she would this be this type of person i was just in this belief that's what i'm saying the whole time after this whole scenario went down whatever i was just in this belief i was shocked i'm like i and i'm like and then i'm thinking like wow i can't believe that i traveled here to spend time with this individual i never met because i believe they were this person online and i'm telling you guys now that even when i'm on to on youtube and i'm watching things I don't believe nothing that I see. I'm like, this person is probably not this person. Because, you know, after this whole thing, I was like, I don't believe, like, nothing that I see anymore. Yeah. I'm just like, me. it, it really ruined for me and, I guess, for all of us. I'm just like, I can't be trust, like, you know believe crazy? these people I that I see. I think all of us are very naive. But it's, it's not Honestly, naive, naive, but she really yeah. made me look at everyone different. Because I, I, I give everyone a benefit of the doubt. Yeah. You just have to prove to me that you're... That, that, you're you're who you are and i'm like now i'm scared to even trust i'm scared i don't even know i, don't I already know. have those issues like, i know she <laughs> said she really liked this girl named caroline in dubai and caroline i was gonna caroline. i was gonna pm to caroline to say hey do you know yeah i wonder if she paid everything for mj that's why she's like in her videos like oh i love her so much we have i i know i said my videos have nothing in common with everyone but i have a lot in common with her so i'm thinking oh she probably used her like used her for everything because obviously she, she looks like she's well off in dubai you know <laughs> caroline is probably her gofundme so <laughs> yo we all been there <laughs> she actually did have a GoFundMe at one point, right? I thought I saw that ah. a while ago. Stop, Stop. I, girl! I don't even know. She she deletes everything, so I don't. Someone even, I talked about it on Shark Teeth Lies or something like that. <laughs> yeah, I think like she actually <laughs> had that. She actually had a picture of it. Like she had a GoFundMe at one point. This is so sad. And, and everyone's mom, saying, like, commenting, like, just mom, go get a job. Like. I'm like, ma'am, I should be crying. <laughs> she called me crying. I don't she's understand. Like, like, get a job. <laughs> she called me on Facebook, and she's like, um, hey, I'm like, hey. She's like, hey. I said, hey, I'm here. And she's like, um, hey, um, can you please stop harassing me and my family? I'm like, harassing? I'm not harassing. <laughs> I asked you one question, and I told you what your daughter was doing to everyone. And she's like, Who well. Who you? Who was this? Huh? The mom. The mom? The mom, yeah. yeah. Is her name Tracy? Yes. Tracy. Sequoia is bold. Yes. She, I found the whole entire family on Facebook. I emailed the grandmother, the mother, what? the father, the stepfather, the sister, the brother, the cousin, the aunt and TA. Girl, you're better than maybe that. I should, maybe I should do the same I, thing. I, 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 I'm going to do the same thing. Me. Don't play with me. 
I told her, I said, I, I said, Mary Jane, you think if she you feel grandma, like step down. <laughs> I said no, I didn't. I said my grandmother, her step grandmother is what? Uh, she's Irish. Oh my god, I love you. She, her, so her, her, her step, her step grandmother is Irish. So I'm like, hey, maybe she's not lying about her. Um, maybe she's not lying about her background. But I told her, I said, Mary Jane, if you think you're gonna keep my money and you plan on keeping my money, we're gonna go out with a bang. I said, I don't, I don't let up. And I don't even like doing social media, but I told her, I'm like, I'm not letting up. And this is what happened. Now look, you, your whole platform is ruined. Your platform's only Damn. like bro. It's over. I'm just shocked her family hasn't vacation. like shunned her yet. But yeah, back okay. to the mother. I feel like they're me. part of it. Huh? <laughs> yeah, probably. They're You're part, right. Honestly. The mom called me and she specifically said, she said, stop harassing me and my family. Um, um, Mary, she's like, um, we're not like that. Mary so Jane is her own person. But you will get your money back. We are not like that. We're not what you think we are. You will get Does your she money know back. what harassment is? It's really possible. That was two months ago. Well, that was ex- back but she's ago. harassing people's bank account. Like, how about that? I can't. Mm-mm. <laughs> I'm just. The sister I'm just saying in disbelief involved, that this is all going money on. From girls. The brother said he's not involved, but yet you're spending the money and taking money from the girls. Like, I don't make it make sense. Like, oh my god! Speaking about bit, her brother, she told me when we're walking at the mall, she I, said, "I'm buying my brother a brand new car. I forgot what it was. Some kind of a sports car." She's like, "I'm gonna buy it. Like, it was like some. I don't know what it was. Some kind of like expensive okay. sports car." She's like. I'm going to gift this for him for his uh, birthday. She's like, I'm going to get buy him a brand new car. So I'm curious if she ever did with all the money she got. Girl, listen here. When I, when I, I was there, like, oh. she, like, got um, her brothers, like, her whole family, like, a bunch of nice things. And I'm like, that's nice. But you were telling me you don't have money to pay the hotel. I wrote her brother on his birthday. This is, this is my old, everything went down. I said, hey, Jesse, happy birthday. Your sister stole two thousand dollars from me and a bunch of girls. <laughs> he let her know that I need my money back, Frank. Give me my money back, and he blocked me. He blocked me. <laughs> oh my god! Then I hit the sister up, and then she blocked me. Then I hit the mother up. The aunt and then blocked the, me, and now the grandma, and then the aunt. Everyone blocked me. Way. I didn't do anything. All I did was ask the question. That's so sad. Not like, why can you just give people's money back? Like, it's really easy. Like, no one is harassing no one. Wait, like, girl, exactly. just give me my money back. It's my birthday. Have you guys seen the videos? Like, the videos on YouTube where people are speaking up? No one is saying bad things. People are just saying, I don't have my money back. Please give me my money back. I don't see no harassing. People are like, she must I was be wondering really nice, that too. but I just want my money back. And I'm like, wow. Like, I, I actually thought that people were being really nice. I'm like, wow, people are very civilized. Like, I like this. And I thought it was really cool. People are just want their money back. Like, do you think she's deleting those comments? Because I was looking at it too. I didn't even see anything. And I was afraid I was going to get blocked because I wanted to, like, <laughs> until I get my money back, I don't care what she does. I'm so, so happy we caught your, your comment just in time because yep. uh, Clear texted me. She's like, Sequoia, someone just sent me this message and she just voted. I'm like, that's a fake page. I know it is. I'm like, cause nope. everyone's coming out of the woodworks making fake pages and saying they got scammed, just 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 to go along the flow. But clearly, like, no, this is real. And then um, we went live this morning, and a guy was like, "Wait, no, her page is really real." She just commented back, and we were like, "Where's the comment?" <laughs> and we screenshot your name, and I'm like, "Oh my gosh, she's real." <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm glad so I was funny. debating That's if so I funny. should say something or not, but I'm glad I did. I'm sure. glad because so I saw that a lot of people were getting scammed <laughs> by you. Yeah, so. I, I, Elena, I saw your ass on her Instagram page, and I'm like, she's a tourist. She's not with her, <laughs> but she'll be really with her. And I, may, might I please add, a tourist? She can... May I please add that when I see you, <laughs> when I see you petting the camel, you did not look happy. I'm like, what is that? What she? You, you, you were not. You were not happy. You were petting it's the camel, so... really like. Mm. But here's the thing: so she's bright in like... Egypt, like. She actually took. She actually like when I asked her to take a picture, like she did get like kind of like a snotty face. Exactly. I, you know what? I went through this. We went through the same thing. You guys, everyone is here in here. Me and Elena, our stories match. If one person, two people, three people are saying the same thing, it's right. She's a hater. 
You know what they say about friends that don't want to see pictures of you when you look good? They're haters. <laughs> she don't want y'all to edit y'all pictures and make her look like, make y'all look like her. Because y'all look like that already. Y'all don't got to edit. Y'all don't have to edit Anything you made to look at, you know what I mean? Like, I'm not like ladies or Adrian. Like, <laughs> like, but you know what? In the itinerary, she specifically said... And I tend to remember she said that, hey, I'm gonna take pictures of you guys and make cool and cool backgrounds. Y'all ain't got not one picture. Elena Elena, actually I'm lying. You have dope pictures, Elena. I love your pictures. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> I but, and, because I was mostly by myself. I saw her like twice out of the whole week, so Wow. Wait, how long that were you is there for? So... Huh? How long oh! were you there for? A week. Wow. That's uh I would be depressed. I'm just, I don't know. I just love traveling. Me with too. So. Can we travel together? Yes, we are. We definitely yes, are. Only yes, yes, we are. Where are you guys we at? Well, Miami. Yes, James. yes, yes. Wait, <laughs> Miami. Comment, she said every time I asked her to take pictures, she would, t- she would take it blurry on purpose. <laughs> <laughs> that picture that she has on Instagram, like, she's wearing like that green outfit and mm-hmm. with the horse. Uh, oh, you wait. Me? The picture on her Instagram, yep. she's a green, lime green outfit, and she's, like, with a horse holding a Pepsi. That right. was my Pepsi. Right? That's the one where she <laughs> lost half her weight. That was your Pepsi? Oh, she, she used you yeah, for your prop. Yeah, she just wanted to take a picture. I don't know why. She's like, ooh. She's trying to get sponsored, sis. Arabic Pepsi or something, because it was an Arabic. No, yeah, sponsored. she'll get a lot of props for pictures. Yeah. Like, mm-hmm. That's how she makes money. Wait, Listen, so I you... I have no problem. Just... I didn't want to so, be... You're both in Miami. No, um, Wait. actually, the technic- I'm actually stationed in North Dakota, but okay. I'm in Seattle right now visiting my parents. But we're actually um getting stationed to move to California in July. Mm. When wow. you say stationed, your husband? Yeah, he's in the Air Force. Oh, oh wow! Yeah, cool. I respect the Wait, did I say service, Elena? You okay. are so nice. <laughs> Because I read your text message, you said, sorry, that was my husband. Girl, don't apologize to her. Your oh husband is mad. He won his bread. Oh, <laughs> huh? <laughs> when he gets angry, he's full on Marine. So, yeah, like, he Ooh. won. That was kind of pressuring Let me. Let the church say, say amen. <laughs> What's that? <laughs> Let the church say amen. Well, he better stand up for you. Conversation, you know what I mean? I feel like my husband was, like, the one pushing me, like, he's like, I fucking swear to God, like, if you, like... <laughs> I'm gonna get her, so so I'm just like had to. Yeah, you were so sweet. I'm like, look at look at Elena. She's like, I'm so sorry, like, that was my husband. No, don't be sorry. But he won his money back. He won his money back. Her money. <laughs> so, because he's like, you deserve to go, have fun. And I thought she was like, you know, she's a famous YouTuber. I didn't think anything of it. Oh my god, this girl. Honestly, when I went, I was like, wow, I feel so safe because I was like, she travels around the world. She's mm-hmm. a professional. She's experienced. So I felt safe because I felt like I was going to travel with the person I was seeing on YouTube. Like, her personality. I thought that she was that. Mm-hmm. That was my thought process, too, because she said she's been there four to six times. So I'm exactly. like, okay, expert. Yeah, so I'm like, she's nice, but she knows what she's doing and she's a, mm-hmm. a woman, too. I'm like, great, like, that's gonna, you know, and it's like, and then now I'm thinking, I'm like, who would do that? Who would be okay with traveling with a stranger, someone you never met? Like, Don't let's just say that because I was called stupid. I would just say we're very optimistic, <laughs> and I love traveling, meeting new people, meeting, trying new I things. Just, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't, believe don't in the kindness of strangers, stupid. but like, Me too. I don't know what was up. And like, I couldn't feel like her energy being bad or anything. Like, exactly. And I have like. I, I can feel things about people like if I yeah, go I out I like I can probably pick out like a, a serial killer from the crowd and she never gave me no like bad vibes I was like I don't know it was just so crazy Wait, like I don't know for, um, how, how long were you in Dubai for like all together so it was like almost a month what, what? I think yeah it was like three weeks Two what? weeks and a half. I went to, I went to wow. Dubai for four days. And wait, you said a month? Oh my god! I, like two weeks and a half. I actually like, went to Dubai last year or well, two years ago. Um, I went to go meet my manufacturer in Pakistan. 
But I was in Dubai. I got really sick in Dubai. I was sick. I got, girl, I was sick, sick. I couldn't even make it home. But I actually like Dubai. But you said a month? Oh, my God. I can't imagine being here for a month. It's beautiful. Like, uh, there's so much to do. Were you in New Dubai or Old Dubai? New. Oh, yeah. I was in Old Dubai. That's probably why. <laughs> hey, I saw yeah. that some lady named Semi was on her trip. It says, yes, I was. Yeah, she said she was on a trip in Dubai. She said that she um, booked her trip three days before they were supposed to leave. Was she scammed too? Um, she wasn't scammed. What she said in the comment, too many to count, but on my trip, it was supposed to be five girls in total, but only two of us came. She told us that the rest of the girls couldn't come because they didn't take their COVID test. Girl, you lied. You said you had COVID. What's wrong with you? Mar come on, Mary. Mary, I don't got, we didn't have COVID. We was ready, willing, and able to be in that trip. <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> come on, Mary J. Blige. No more drama. Come on. Stop it. <laughs> Too <laughs> 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 means to count. Simi, I'm gonna actually go live with you tomorrow. You gotta come out, girl. You staying here comedy on stuff. I'm not sure if you were the girl. It's it's another girl that's actually involved, and she said she doesn't she doesn't want her name in it. And I'm just like, you know what? I'm gonna respect your wishes, but it's just like, <sighs> this is so this is sad that she has girls traumatized to not want to speak up for herself. Honestly, just seeing you guys and like when I got into the life, I just saw Lena talking about it and I was like, that's everything I went through. I have to talk about it. I was so happy to see a name. I'm like, wait, where's I saw RG Adrian? I'm like, she, she, what is she doing here? <laughs> yes, I was like, no, I have to say something because Yay. I was like, wow. But like, you, you know, we are, everyone is fine. We're, you know, healthy, we can move on from this, and like, you know, like I said, everyone has the opportunity to change, and like... Yes, that, oh, she said, I was, I'm so sorry, she said I was her that wrote me. See, now everyone's coming out, thank you, so she's gonna go live tomorrow, because everyone's coming forward, see, this is what, this is what we need, yes, girls. <laughs> I love that for us, hashtag, <laughs> we need to... Hashtag, hashtag Mary Jane, hashtag surviving real Jane, thing. And hashtag being Mary Jane is coming out too because girl, <laughs> being you is a lot. All that Photoshop girl. Let me go learn how to Photoshop and do the stomach. I just want her passport taken away so bad. I just want her to like because <laughs> I know she loves her passport, you know, she's just like almost wants to like travel, but I just want it to be like gone. Like what she's <laughs> doing is a crime, like she is going to jail. It's not, it's not but even that's what I'm saying. She's not everyone, good at, like crime. everyone needs to report it. Trails everywhere. Uh, Truth oh, everywhere. Not I started reporting it. Well, the she FBI agent told me to go on ic3.gov. I'm going to comment it. Right. Comment we it. You put it on the page too. I'm, I'll share it because I'm not going to um, remember that. Can you put that on your bio? Um, I can't change it. I don't. It won't let me do much. Wait, I put it in the comments right there. We just need to file a complaint. You know what's crazy? I can add to... someone. Oh wait. Oh, I, was say, I thought I can add somebody else, but no, it's not. Um, letting me even tag anything. Oh wait. Sorry, I didn't mean to do that. So wait. Okay, yeah, I can. I can pin it. I can pin it. I can't really post post it yet. I just pinned it on my, on the on the. Specific oh, I see. Stuff. What is that mm -hmm. for? We base that's where um the FBI receives their complaints for online fraud. So okay. basically, the more of us that are actual victims that basically report her, as that number rises up, then it can come to their attention because they need a large sum of a number and several complaints or several complaints for them to basically do what you're saying as far as canceling her passport and whatnot. Okay, yeah. So send me send me that. I'm gonna post that tonight or tomorrow morning. Um on Instagram, so everyone can, like, go to that website and report it, report her, so that her name... Honestly, they really need to track her and, like, take her passport so she can be at one place and just give back everyone's money and Girl, just... bring that ass back to Jersey since you left me. You come, <laughs> you come to Jersey and I'm going to London. <laughs> Fuck it. <I'm> <laughs> Seriously, you deserve that. I mean, honestly, you are the true FBI here. <laughs> oh, yeah. 
Girl, you went above and beyond. You you got people together. <laughs> Nothing would be like this if it wasn't for you. I was dying to get y'all together. I'm like, no, y'all are going to talk. I'm like, Adrian, please. I begged Adrian. I said, please, can you please tell your story? Please. <laughs> yeah, and I'm so sorry. I'm like, listen, I'm like, uh, I didn't want to say anything. I was just like, God, like, I just want this to be over. And, you know, and it's weird. crazy it's because. Weird. But you have a lot of supporters as well because they're like, Adrian was her friend, and they were bashing her. Da da da. da. They're like, they they were telling me like, hear her up. She 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 actually met her. I'm like, wow. And I can only imagine how many DMs you get a day to ask her ask about um Mary Jane. Like, how is Mary Jane? Where is she? What happened to you guys? I can only imagine. <laughs> it was like, I was just like, and then it's crazy because for the past like two weeks, I've been getting so many DMs, like from people like oh, you know, you need to speak about it or, like, just, you know, people, like, sharing their experience. I was like, wow. This is... I didn't know it was, like... This big. I didn't know this it was big, this big but it is. I did not know it was going to be this... This was going to be this big. I thought it was just... We mean. all got scammed. That's what I said. She's not good at her crime stuff because she's leaving trails everywhere, proofs everywhere. She's not smart. She's, she's not, not smart. clever. I don't... She's not clever at all. Well, Adria bought Mary Jane a beautiful luxury gift for Mary Jane's birthday on YouTube. I saw her. <laughs> See? They, they Did know she Adria. delete that video? <laughs> yes. And honestly, you'll know why. Okay, so first of all, check to like we were friends. Like we already knew each other. Okay, we talked a little bit through like Instagram and whatever. I got there. But I was like, we don't know each other that much. But she wanted to show that on I guess, on her channel, mm. because once the video was over, like, you know, like, she's like, oh, can you just record this video opening this thing that I got you? I was like, it was so forced, like, it was not even genuine. You guys could see in the video that, like, I looked so tired, like, <laughs> I was traveling, like, 24 hours, I got there, I went to sleep, and she's like, just open this, just open this, just make What's this the video. The video. What's the name of the video? I don't even know. Oh, I'm pretty sure. And somebody, honestly, I'm pretty sure someone's gonna DM me, DM it to me after this because they always show me everything. Every time I log in, they send me so much stuff. Yeah, and after everything, you guys, when I got home and like, no, even when I was in Dubai, people were messaging me like, "Why you're not with uh, Mary Jane anymore?" This and that, and I was like, "Listen." She blocked me and I was telling everyone, I was like, just tell her to remove my video because then I was aware that she was having problems with other people. And I was like, uh-uh, like, I don't want to be part of this. Right, like, right. I don't want to be part of this. And I was like, just like, cause she blocked me. I couldn't even tell her, like, it's my face. I was like, listen, just tell her to delete my video. I don't want to be involved with her in any way because it's disrespectful. She did so many, like, I told you guys what happened, and she still kept the video, like, making it seem like I was her friend, like, still making money off me after she did everything, you know, to me. I'm like, this is so disrespectful. Like, we're not kids. Like, first of all, you're so immature that, like, you blocked everyone for no reason, and it's, like, it's ridiculous. I'm like, girl, what? Like, another thing before we hang up, uh, I wanted to say... Um, someone DM me, the person that DM me, I don't know who it is, but they always give me info. They're saying that she literally goes to each country and try to make friends with girls just to like teach them how to scam and do the same thing she's doing. She's actually, she was actually with a girl in Dubai, in Egypt. I, I think her name is Alexandria. And she blocked me too. I asked her something and she blocked me, like literally. Like, I'm like, you have nothing to do with it. So why are you blocking me? So yeah, I think she's up to it again. Like, she's going to each state, each country, begging for friends trying to be fake friends and having them scam with her because it's a whole group of girls in Cali, a whole group of girls in Mexico, a whole group of girls in, in, um, in they, they're now saying in the Netherlands. I don't really know how true that is, but she's, she's, she's getting girls Remember in the country. She has a boo in the Netherlands too, so that might be true. Huh? Remember she has a boo in the Le oh, Netherlands? Yeah, right. That's yeah. why I didn't oh, yeah, message girl that girl because yes. I had a feeling she was going to block me. Yeah, the girls in Tulum, she has friends in Tulum that scam. So she has friends in almost, like, every country she visits, she had, they all scam. And I have the yeah, pictures, Mary Jane, of you and your body in, in Tulum. <laughs> <laughs> yo, I'm, yo, I'm, this is, this is crazy. This shit would have never happened. <laughs>
honestly this is too much for all of us it is. we just need to be thankful that we're here and we went through this and like we're healthy money right. we can get it back but like at least you guys didn't get to like go and spend time and like god forbid like get into a situation where you couldn't get out right is that can be traumatizing man i was just going to the egyptian police too but i regret it oh you should have done it you should have wait wait. but it's okay like okay you probably didn't even know what you're supposed to do you just like you know when you get into a situation like that you could say many things that you would do but like you're like fragile and you're like alone and you don't know what to do it's like you're away from your family it's crazy like Mm-hmm. Oh wait, Adria! Someone's asking why did she get locked up? Was she with you when she got went to the police station, or um, I think it was another girl. Wait, what? Did you go to the police station with her in Dubai? No, oh, it was it was other girl because they were asking. She went to police now. station for what? Yeah, they I just think- sent me a video in my DM. Um, I saw it last week, but they keep sending me the same clip. They they took her to the police station um in Dubai because she took a picture, right? At, in Egypt, you're not allowed to take pictures, really. Um, there, there's like cops everywhere. Even like they, even they dress up as civilians too. Because I took a picture of something I didn't know, and they're like the, the undercover cop kind of stopped me. Oh wow! Oh, like they're very sensitive. They don't in Egypt or Middle East. I don't think they like um, people taking pictures because they're very sensitive. They think you're a journalist, and yeah. well, I mean, in America especially, they just write a bunch of lies about everything on online you know saying middle east is dangerous and stuff and i feel like egypt was i felt 100 percent safe the egyptians were super nice like when i say they're super nice like my taxi driver like took me to get my test done i don't know if i'm allowed to say that word because i heard it's you know my pcr test done or whatever Mm -hmm. he waited for me to get it done and the next day he picked me up and waited for like an hour with me to get my that's in egypt you said yeah they were wow. so cool. like an old man too his name was Zachariah he was so sweet like everybody was just so sweet like this image that America like even on the U.S. Embassy there was like Egypt is dangerous don't travel here such a bunch of lies I couldn't believe it like I'm just like KG stop like I just everybody was so nice <laughs> I did not feel in danger at all she told me that I shouldn't go to Egypt and I should never get like a cab there and that a bunch of horrible things would happen and I if I did I should only go with her. Whatever. <laughs> no. Wow. Obviously don't go in a dark alley in the middle of the night, you know, just be <laughs> smart. <laughs> no, Egypt is pretty awesome. I really loved it. It was really cheap actually. The hotel really? stuff is expensive. Yeah, but if you're going out in town, probably buying food is probably like a dollar thirty cents. Like it's really cheap. Mm-hmm. I would love to go to Egypt because they have so much history. Yes. Oh my god! I was. So I want to go. go. I want to learn. I was well, dying we, though. Like I was so. I was looking forward to that. Go. I want to go. the area ish a little bit. So, and we can like. I have a friend that I made over there. Her name is Bosma. If you want her information, if you're in Egypt, you can like hire her to be like your walking tour guy. And it was supposed to be like a four hour walking tour, but. We met her at one, and we hang out, like hung out with her for, till like nine p.m. She's so sweet. Oh, that was wow. nice. That's nice. And she's on my Facebook too. Like we kept in touch, and I kind of told her about the whole Mary Jane thing. <laughs> but <laughs> that's so sweet. Guys, I'm gonna head out because I have to wake up early tomorrow. Okie goat, Claire. I'm gonna act. Well, we, we can all actually end the live. Um, I just want to let everybody know that tomorrow we're gonna go live with um I don't even know her name, but she's she wants to come forward, so that's really exciting. I'm happy that she wants to come forward. That's but right. I'm, I'm Everyone so needs to come forward tonight. Adria and Elena, Elena, like I'm so that's so happy. I can finally sleep. <laughs> honestly, I'm so happy that you did this because honestly, I got on and then I will say everything Elena was talking about and I was like wow like I have to say something because everything she was saying was everything that like my experience what I went through and I was like wow like this was like like it seemed legit because at first I wasn't like sure I was like scared I was like I don't want to say anything Mm -hmm. and then all you guys like this is good because you see like tomorrow other people are gonna speak up as well right yes um i love that for us that's what we do when like (laughs) we need to hashtag that girl like we all need to when this is all 
we need to seriously like meet up somewhere and make t-shirts right hashtags. please well, oh my god I'm we should <laughs> And I make clothes, and I actually have a sale going on. We need a Netflix documentary. My website name is www.beyondking.com. Maybe this is my calling. I will be making t-shirts for this girl, Surviving Mary Jane. No, we need to do it, and then like everyone should take a picture, and then we should like post it. My brand is all about women empowerment. That's the one. But yeah, I make. I love that for us. We're making t-shirts for Mary Jane. Mary Jane. She on our, she's on our live. I can't wait. To, I cannot wait to text her tomorrow. Asking her, where's my I money frame? Where's my money frame? But okay, guys, that's, I'm going to go to bed too. So thanks again. Bye, Alana, guys. Good Asia. night. I wish you all the best. Good night, guys. It was nice meeting you all. Good night. And, and, ladies, you bye. Bye. <laughs> Take, and we all keep tonight. in touch. We need, can we <laughs> do like a, a, we need to do like a group where we can a, like a group see chat. Talk. Yeah, group chat. Okay, yeah. I'm gonna give you guys my number. I'll message you, ladies, my number. Right. Okay. Okay, I'll do the same. All right. Okay. Bye, you guys. Right. Thanks Bye. for having me. Bye. I don't want to cut mine off either, guys. <laughs>